Hi everyone, it's Elsie here. I hope you're all well. Um, I have uh, another Hip Kit Club layout and I'm using the May 2020 kits and I'm being inspired by this month's mood board today. Uh, as you can see, it's a gorgeous mood board full of lots of lovely um, rainbow and really summery colours. Um, I um, decided to be inspired by the beach hut image specifically. Um, I live in the south of England so um, yeah by the sea there's lots of beach huts and things and yeah it'd be like my dream to own my own beach hut but I think they're actually quite expensive and there's like the waiting list is ridiculously long especially for around like the Brighton area so <laughs> um, although I don't have my own beach hut I can create my own paper ones which isn't quite the same thing but still just as cute so um, I'm paper piecing my uh, my own basically um, and I'm using uh, some pattern papers but mainly the project um, or pocket life cards um, the, I really love using the pocket life cards for not pocket scrapbooking because I don't really do that um, but yeah I just love how um, they're exclusive to the kits and so they match perfectly um, and you just get lots of sort of uh, different kinds of patterns and maybe colours like that sort of red check beach hut in the middle that um, red colour isn't really in any like specific solid large pattern um, in uh, the 12 by 12 papers so to have that pocket life card um, it's just really nice to add that little pop of sort of reddy corally pink um, so as you can see I'm just kind of going through all the papers and just cutting out little doors and things. Um, so when I was putting the papers together I kind of made sure that the beach huts were sort of the roof and the beach hut were like complementary colours um, to create like a really kitschy sort of bold look. Um, and yeah so I made sure that the left beach hut was kind of like blue and orange, the middle one was red and green and there's no purple in the kit so I just used um, that mustard yellow and that navy blue which is possibly one of my favourite colour combinations ever <laughs> um, and yeah it just creates like a really fun sort of yeah kitschy look as I said um, I live near Brighton in England and yeah just it's full of kitsch down in Brighton so <laughs> um, yeah uh, I thought I'd be inspired by that. Uh, the picture I'm actually scrapping is not from me um, in Brighton, it's me in Goring uh, which is kind of further along from Brighton but still just as a lovely beach um, but less touristy. <laughs> um, and yeah I'm adding some of those Amy Tan Picnic in the Park uh, paper bows uh, again in contrasting uh, patterns to um, the beach huts and I absolutely just love the way they look and they fit perfectly. Um, I especially love that red gingham one. Uh, so it kind of matches with the red gingham beach hut. And yeah, I'm also adding little uh, flags on top of the beach huts, all in different styles. I'm using some die cuts from Amy Tan and then just fussy cutting some bits of paper. And yeah, I just, I like the way they look. So they're all very similar, the beach huts, but they all have sort of different um, little quirks to them. Um, oh yeah, and for the doors of the beach huts, I used, um, I think, were they from the Pink Paisley 5th and Monaco collection? They're like these black pearls. And yeah, they kind of work as the door handles. So that was a fun way to use those. Um, I'm using some white cardstock as my background and yeah I also did some hand stitching um, on the beach huts and yeah uh, because I can't help myself <laughs> and yeah I just really love the definition it adds and yeah the texture just yeah makes it feel very me and yeah I really I just really enjoy the way these look <laughs> um, kind of want to make more to like decorate like my room with or you know put on cards or something like that you know they're really simple to paper piece together um yeah of all the things I paper piece these are probably one of the more simple ones so yeah I really enjoy them 
Um, so I'm just decorating them with some of the Amy Tan uh, like foam thicker things. <laughs> There's lots of little lovely images in that, like the hearts and the flowers and the rainbows. So I'm just decorating the doors and things with those. Um, and then I decided the background looked a bit too white and yeah, I wanted to kind of create a beachy look but without um, sort of creating something really bold. So I tried using like blue cardstock for like a blue sky or blue sea or whatever, but it just, it just wasn't working. So I decided to get out my Distress Oxides and they're from my stash and kind of create like sort of a hazy sandy beach, although it's not really sandy around where we are. <laughs> it's uh, more pebbly, but yeah, I wasn't going to color individual pebbles. Um, so yeah, just to give the look of the beach, I'm using scattered straw and antique linen, and then I'm kind of fading in some uh, tumbled glass. And yeah, I absolutely love the way it turned out because it's very subtle and I just wanted to kind of create a hazy look, um, but without it sort of distracting from uh, the beach huts. So as you can see, it's not perfect. And I just use regular cardstock that comes in the kits. And yeah, I tried to do that paint on a water splatter thing where you can like lift the distress oxides up. But I think the paper that I used wasn't like, I don't know, it just didn't work. It just kind of like soaked in really weirdly and it didn't make any difference. So um, yeah, I just ignored that. And sorry, that is my dog playing with a toy. Why she always does this when I'm doing a voiceover? She comes and like brings me a ball or squeaks a toy. Yeah, it's like she deliberately does it. Like she knows that, oh, my mum's recording a voiceover. I'm gonna make as much noise as humanly possible. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's funny how they do that, isn't it? Um, so I'm now taking the squeaky toy away and I'm now throwing her treats to get her to be quiet. I can't tell you how stressful this voiceover has been to do. Um, anyway, uh, I'm adding some of the Vicky Bootin and Amy Tan die cuts. Um, I love that little ice cream cart. I mean, that was obviously perfect for this page. Um, you know, it's very sort of beachy and kitschy. And that car die cut is huge, but it's like unapologetically big. So um, I really like it because I have a thing about like really large die cuts, especially ones that are like, I don't know, like a tag or something. Cause I never know how to use that, but like this car is like really fun. Um, and I love that little banner coming out from it. Um, yeah, super cute. So um, yeah, I'm just going around adding some more embellishments. Um, I'm sort of taking bits and pieces from all the kits. So, um, it's kind of amazing how HipKit always does this, like the collections always um, sort of go together even though they're obviously not designed to be together, like got Amy Tan, De Lizzie, Vicky Booten, um, yeah, and they all just kind of work together, it's really nice. So, um, yeah, I'm just adding like a few little birdies and um, yeah, deciding whether or not to add a bike. I love that little lawn flamingo. Um, if I had my own beach hut, I would definitely get one of those little flamingos. Um, it's just, yeah, completely adorable. <laughs> um, I'm also adding in some of the palm trees. Um, yeah, and that just kind of helps set the scene. Although, obviously, in England, we don't have palm trees because um, it's freezing here most of the time. But, yeah, I just thought it would create a really nice like, look. Um, and I don't really have a title for this page. I guess the title could be that Hey Sunshine um, from that Amy Tan die cut. Um, but yeah, and I also love that cartwheeling girl. That just fit perfectly there. And it's such a random embellishment that I feel like it's actually kind of fun to use. Something that's so weird and random like that. <laughs> um, and yeah, as soon as I created these beach huts, the rest of the page was so quick to put together really. Um, yeah, I just, it was a really fun page and just everything kind of fitted together nicely. And it's a really fun sort of kitschy look. I keep saying kitschy, but that's just kind of what I was thinking as I was making this page. So yeah, 
that's me done. Here are some close-ups. Um, I hope you're inspired to use this month's mood board with the main kits. Uh, I'll have, leave links to everything in the description box. So yeah, I hope you're all staying safe and staying well out there and I shall see you in my next video. Bye everyone.